What's up, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, just bought myself this straight drop-in trigger assembly from POF, Patriot Ordnance Factory, and uh, POF-USA.com. I picked this one up on mm, Joe Bob Outfitters, I think. And I got it because uh, I have in uh, one of my rifles a POF tr trigger, and I love it. Um, it's been absolutely dead nuts reliable, and uh, doesn't give me light primer strikes uh, is super predictable and it's just been rock solid and so what I wanted to do and actually it's a four or four and a half pound trigger um, but for uh, one of my um, my rifles I wanted to get this one because this one is a little lighter three and a half pound pull weight and it's my one that has my magnified optic on it so you know it, it's designed to shoot out a little further and it's especially when you get out further and further you just want kind of a lighter and lighter trigger generally. So I thought I would show you this one and, you know, kind of mention that, like I said, super reliable, but I've also had, um, I've also found that these are pretty good value. And I want to say this was like about 130 bucks. Comes with KNS anti-walk pins as well. And how it kind of works here is, maybe I can open it up and show you, is they have like these little rubber oh, rails. You can see these little rubber inserts, so like a little rubber around. They're just kind of pressed in here. And what ends up happening is uh, they will kind of space and push this off of the bottom of the lower receiver and kind of brace it in place. And with the anti walk pins, that's kind of pulling them down. Now, what I found is that you do want to make sure that, as you can see, there's a little daylight. I guess my tip on the installation is you want to push these up in there so that there's no space because otherwise it can be hard to compress these things. They're like, you know, kind of, I mean, they're rubber, but they're pretty solid. So you are going to have to kind of press the trigger group down when you put these suckers in there. As you can see, the rest of it looks like, you know, any trigger system, you know, particular drop-in trigger system. And then what's pretty unique about this, and I think this is the only kind of trigger uh, design that they had on this one, at least as far as I could tell, you know, is like a straight trigger, it's kind of skeletonized. POF on the side here, beautiful red anodized design. And uh, just should be pretty cool. So if I open it up there, you can see spring, hammer, not a long hook on the back here, disconnect, I mean it's all black and oiled, looks good and my experience has been they man, they just fire fantastically. So anyway, let's uh, compress it here, go ahead, get the old trigger out, get the uh, k &S pins in which look like this, and then they come with these kind of, not dog bone, but kind of like bar style collars. They hook over one end and then you put in a little screw, which also already has, looks like a little thread lock on it. So that's how the whole thing comes and put it in and try it out. So let's get a little measurement of the pull weight, analog Wheeler trigger pull scale. and. Just gonna put it on the middle trigger here and pull. And it says five and a quarter pounds. Put it on the bottom here, pull. And three and a half pounds and let's just try it uh, let's try it in the middle again fair so right in the middle there I'm getting like a little under five pounds and then it looks like towards the bottom is where I'm getting a little lighter pull or less weight obviously more leverage so if I pull right down here just under four pounds so if you're shooting with your finger down here it's gonna feel pretty light 
And it does. So, hope that helps. 120 or 130 bucks. Uh, like I said, POF triggers had great uh, experience with them, which is why I'm picking up some more. Uh, you know, not just great experience on how they feel, but at the range. I have shot very, very well with them, and they've been super reliable. So check it out. I'll put a link to it in the description. Peter Von Panda, out.